This is a tutorial regarding discussion board number one. We'll be looking at a book entitled A People's History of the United States. We're going to be reading an excerpt from this book, okay? Uh, so this is a pretty famous book. We talked about social history in the past and you know, new history, modern history, kind of taking a different look at history, giving everybody you know, a chance to tell their side of the story. <clears throat> So this is the Bible of the modern social historian. Okay, Howard Zinn kind of broke the mold when he wrote this book, and this is a this is an, a, a different point of view than what had been seen before, and without question, an example of social history. So, so I think you'll enjoy this. It's it's just history written in a different kind of way. Okay, so uh, the best thing to do when I do instructions is read all this first. Okay, so. Uh, I'm going to go through this uh, one by one here so you know what's going on. And, and in doing so, you're going to learn about, about what a discussion board assignment is. Uh, although you can go to modules, week one, like you know, there's instructions there, uh, written instructions, and there's also a tutorial on what a discussion board is. This is similar to that, but this is talking about more about discussion board one and this people's history of the United States. Okay. Okay. So. Go to the link, this very long link. Uh, we're, we're accessing this book from through Google Books, okay? So um, let's get it open here. <clears throat> and here we go. Okay, so here's the here's the uh, the book. This is the cover, okay? So we're not reading all this, obviously. We're, we're reading parts of Chapter 1. So just kind of scroll down slowly through here until you get to the uh, table of contents, and there you go. We're going to read page 1 through 11 of Chapter 1, Columbus, the Indians, and Human Progress, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's scroll, scroll down to the start here, and I'm sorry, it jumps around a little bit here. Uh, there we go. Uh, I want you to read this. this. This is about Columbus himself, his three voyages. This is really the start of European um, you know, uh, colonization in the New World. Columbus starts it. And we tend to give him the credit for, for it all, and I suppose he deserves the credit for starting this wave of European expansion. Okay, But one of the parts we don't talk that much about, and even though it's changed in the last few decades, we don't talk that much about how he treated these people that he found and, and, the, and the brutality that he you know, heaped upon them all in the name of wealth okay so please read this as you see it's not really a primary source just uh, discussion boards are based on typically primary sources this is a secondary source about Columbus but it's it's it has very many primary source citations and quotes as you see much from uh, Columbus himself much from a man named Bartolome de las Casas who Kind of rings the bell on Columbus about what really what what really happened. Okay, so please read this. Um, this is interesting. I think you'll find this very interesting. But when you get to page 11, you can stop. Okay, let me get to the end here. Um, okay, here's 11. Um, so as you see, it kind of you kind of have a break. Get, there you go, right there. So the last. The last thing that you need to read is the reader may as well know that before going on. So when you get to the, that sentence right there on page 11, right there, I'm pointing it out to you here, you can stop there, okay? That's all that's required for this assignment. Now, I'm going to tell you, many of you will keep going because it's interesting. And this book is interesting. And, um, if you're interested in American history from a, a more modern view uh, that, that looks at all people, not just white Europeans, this is the book to read, okay? And this book goes from the beginning all the way through, I believe it comes up to the year 2000, okay? Okay, so 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 this is, this is the assignment read page 1 through 11. <clears throat> okay, let's go back to our instructions and see what else it says here. Uh, okay, let's scroll down here a little bit. Done that. Uh, Okay, chapter, uh, okay, page 11, okay. So this is an account of the voyages of Christopher Columbus. In it, you'll read quotes from primary source. I already mentioned this, Columbus and De Las Casas. The, uh, his books, De Las Casas, is, are, are where historians get most of their information about these voyages, okay. Uh, read 1 through 11, stop in the middle. Okay, so please post an original response, including your reactions. Make a valid statement or argument be original, okay? So um, don't forget there's two posts for discussion boards. So a discussion board posts on a Friday, 
your first post is due the following Friday by midnight. So essentially, you've got eight full days to to read this and make a relevant post. Okay. Um, <clears throat> What I prefer students to do is to make their own arguments and, and have their own responses based on your reactions to reading the document. But I do give you some questions to consider in case you're having trouble doing that. So understand that I'm not requiring you to answer all these questions. So all of you aren't required to answer these four questions. They, they're simply here to give you guidance if you need it, okay? If you're struggling with the subject and you can't kind of wrap your head around it, this may help you. You can then take one of these four questions and maybe, maybe that will inspire you in a different direction or simply answer the question or, or post the question. So here's these four questions. What were the differences between these two cultures, Columbus and his men and the Arawaks? Of course, this is not difficult to, to find. They are completely different, okay? Number two, we define the term ethnocentrism on the first day of class. What evidence of this term did you find by reading this excerpt? Again, you'll find endless evidence of ethnocentrism and ethnocentric, uh, you know, um, behavior. Okay. Uh, and lastly, how did this version of Columbus differ from the one you'd previously learned? So some of you have know some of this, but I would say most don't. So you, you know, high school teaches us a sanitized version of Columbus. Uh, in the last, if you've been in high school the last 10 years, you may have heard that he wasn't the nicest of guys. If you went 20 years ago, you may not. So some of this, some of this was is new. It's it's somewhat new, okay. Uh, and then the last question, I'm sorry, the last question is a little different. We talked about modern historians, social historians, and old school historians, okay. What did we learn about how scholarship, historical writings has changed since the 1950s versus the excerpt we read? Is this an example of old school history versus social history? So in the, in the excerpt, you'll read where Zen talks about another historian from, I think, I believe the 50s, writing about Columbus. And, and just because he's an historian and has to tell everything, he, he, he says in, a, in, a, in paragraphs of, of glowing praise for Columbus, in one sentence, he says, by the way, he wasn't very nice to the native people, and that's all he says. So he kind of covers his bases so he doesn't get in trouble, but doesn't expound. Of course, that's that's old school history. You're trying to talk about the good parts, make everybody look good, create heroes. Social history is not worried about that. We're worried about the truth. If that means that it makes a hero look bad, that's the truth. Go with it, okay? So that's, that's what the la that last question is about. Okay, so there you go. You, you make your own argument or choose one of the questions. Maybe that will inspire you to go a certain direction, but post your discussion. So give me your original response or response to above questions and anything else you'd like. Please make a relevant point about what you've read, an argument, your reactions to it. So your original reply should be at least four paragraphs, okay? Not shorter, not, not, uh, not four sentences with space between them. A full paragraph is three, four sentences each, okay? Make some points or other arguments. It's it's perfectly fine to disagree, okay? Uh, so please make your first post by Friday. So I'm, I have a question mark there because this is an online class and I reuse these tutorials from my other class. So I don't put the date in there, but you can find it many ways. Of course, go to the assignments. You can go to the calendar. You can go to the course summary. On the right side of your home page, on our Canvas page, you'll see reminders of, of assignments coming up. So, but, but, the, but the part to understand is this is different than a film reflection, okay? A, a film reflection, a film reflection uh, is only one post since 11 days. This, this, is the, this, this is only eight. It's a little shorter. Still a long time, okay? Obviously, if everyone waits till Monday for their original post, there won't be any, any post to respond to because that's the second part of, of this, of this uh, assignment. Next, you will respond to two of your classmates' posts. So by Friday, they're all posted. Of course, people post early. You can respond early if you'd like, but you've got to respond to two by the following Monday, okay? Uh, do not simply agree with what they have said. Give a a response based on the knowledge you've gained from reading this excerpt and educated reply. Okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that in red and bold that because that's what you're becoming, right? You are becoming an educated person because you're a college student. Doesn't mean that you weren't smart before, but education, higher knowledge, just takes it to a to a higher place, and you're learning that, and you're learning things that you didn't know before from these films, from these uh, lectures, from your book. 
and now from primary sources with, with our discussion board, okay? So you have till the following Monday, they should be at least two full paragraphs each. So two responses, two full paragraphs each. Monday, uh, midnight, again, I don't have the date there, okay? But you can find that in the uh, on your Canvas page, okay? Okay, grading for discussion boards. You get 15 points for your original post, five each for both your responses for a total of 25 points. Uh, these are not difficult points to obtain. You can get uh, 100 points from discussion boards, 100 from films. These are designed to be entertaining as well as educate you. So don't pass these up. These aren't difficult. That's 200 points for both assignments in this entire class, okay? If you, if you miss the original post for some reason, please do the responses. I'll still give you points for those. Um, and vice versa. If you if you post your original post but don't respond, I'll grade you based on your original post, but of course you don't get the points for the other ones, okay? Points will be taken off for unoriginality or not making a valid point or argument. Again, simply agreeing with what you read is not a relevant post. So don't forget, two posts. First one due uh, on the Friday, the week after it posts, and the next one due the following Monday. 25 total points, okay? Thank you.